Hello and welcome back to YouTube Struggles. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Hit Films for Express and making a intro for your YouTube video using this free software. Uh, if you have not checked out my other videos, I did do a video on uh, Hit Film Express. Uh, I did do a video as well on open broadcast software and other screen capture and video capturing apps out there uh, that do not require a video capture card so make sure to check those out in the link below all right so let's get started on this let's go over here to new uh, you can go over select your template go with 1080p 30 frames per second compassing go here let's go ahead and add a new layer we'll start with a plane that will be our background. And in this case, I'm going to select, uh, let's say, a blue. Make sure our ratios there are correct, since we do want it to cover the whole screen. Right. So we have that there. Uh, we can add another layer. Uh, let's do a text. Uh, let's make this, uh, say, 800 by 200 okay now you have all the options over here if you click on text uh, what you want to make sure is, well if you double click in this box it will automatically take you to the text uh, if not if you're over here just hit text uh, highlight that uh, here just to make sure you're in the correct screen you have a lot of options as far as your fonts you have these are all the um, all the fonts you have on your computer. Really, you can download more or buy more uh, online. I'm uh, gonna go with I don't know. Let's go with Rockwell, just for the fun of it. We can select a color here and start typing. Welcome. Hmm. I'm going to want that a little bit bigger. Let's go with 100. Uh, make it centered. Welcome. I know you're only supposed to use one exclamation mark, but what the hell? It's fun. So that's that. We have that new layer there. Uh, you have other options. You can make it bold. You can change a lot of different options here. Uh, if you, for your background, if you want, you can import media here. If you, let's say, want a picture as your background, uh, that's definitely uh, something you can do there as well. Uh, there's that. So once you've got that text there, there, are, let's go over and take a look at the different effects they have. Okay, so, so you have all the effects here that you have pre-installed, which are free. You have transitions, you have um, quick three options, you can make a bonfire, rain effects. Um, there's one that um, puts like raindrops, you can warp. Uh, so essentially you can make it kind of wrap polar wrap so that's going to make it wrap around uh, kind of a, uh, a circle uh, you can put motion trails uh, there's a lot of you can put echo you can put storm clouds uh, that's part of quick 3ds and lens flare you can put lens flares on there um, there's a lot you can do really with this app, just going with a basic version. You can really do quite a few different things. Another way to do it is if you click down here on the little arrow, you have transitions, you have masks, you have effects here. You can click on the plus arrow and you can add, you know, different effects. Um, glow obviously on that background is not really going to do anything positive except for change the color and make it like, like, there's a light behind it, um, so let's not use that. You can go lightning electrical, 
So now that we've entered that, you kind of look at it, it's created this uh, lightning effect there, which you'll see actually in my intro, you click again on this arrow, you can put in, you know, seeds, um, the trunk size, you can put in um, how much it moves around, you can put in a lot of different options here. You can decide where it's going to start, where it's going to end. You know, there's a lot you can do as far as that goes. Right, so that's one option there. Now, one other thing is when you're selected on a layer, say you want to rotate it, there's the rotation here. So I want it to actually follow like it's going through the lightning. Just like that there. Um, text effects, I want to add an effect to that. I can say I'm not really sure what would work well in this. I haven't really gone through it too much uh, and paid attention to what each individual one does. Uh, but I know there's a lot in here. I just used a few to really create my intro. And that's so far about it. But there's a lot of options in here. And you know, just kind of play around with it. You can change kind of where it starts and where it ends. Um, well, that's not what that is, but there's options for that. I know I use that in my uh, my video. There's a lot you can do there. Uh, so that's basically it, transitioning on that. Uh, rotate it around. You can make some animations with some of the effects in here. Uh, you can go back. Kind of adjust the layer, um, how that's going to affect, you know, the opacity. You can put an anchor point positioning, kind of rotate that around. That's basically what we were doing earlier, uh, only you, we're using a side control here. Um, again, here as well, you can put in kind of your effects. So there's a lot of, um, there's multiple different ways you can put in those effects. I can put in clouds. So what, this one's actually pretty cool, um, where... So let's select the right layer. So if you kind of look at it and we go back here and hit play, you'll see that the cloud is kind of moving through the text there. So that's really a cool effect uh, on that one. On my end, I initially thought of using this one. I ended up going with the kind of ripple drops on it instead. But that's about it. You can then go in and you can import uh, audio file. Let's say, go to media, I saved it on my desktop, uh, thunder, right, so here now you have audio file, drag that into a new layer, so now when we hit play, All right, folks, so that's it. You can go ahead and click Save on this file. You can um, go ahead and export it as well. Just click over here and export. Um, go ahead and you can actually export it directly to YouTube, which is kind of cool. But in the case of the intro, you don't want to do that, but you want it to plug that into your other videos. So go ahead and save that. In my case, I saved it as intro.avi. Uh, uh, you have other options. You have MP4. You have uh, image sequences. You can do AVI. Uh, I think the reason I used AVI was the aspect ratios. I think I was having some trouble with that. Uh, but you can also do uh, MP4 here, uh, which might be pretty the most more common uh, way to do it. Anyways, thanks for watching, folks. And be sure to comment and like if this video was helpful. And I look forward to seeing you next time.